One of the things that we might be asked to do when we're sketching vectors is to draw linear combinations of those vectors, or even scalar multiples of a vector. So let's think about the situation where I've got a vector b, and then maybe I'm going to be asked to sketch 2b, or 1 third of a b. Every vector has both a direction and a magnitude, or a direction and a length. Multiplying that vector by 2 is the same thing as changing its length, but not the direction. So let's see how I did here. That's about as long as a pen. So if I use that and keep the angle the same and think about sketching the vector 2b, it's going to keep that same direction, but have twice the length. Similarly, one third of a b, it's going to keep that same direction. So here, trying to keep it at the same same angle, and instead of going this entire distance, we're going to imagine that it's only going one third of the distance, and that's what one third of b would look like. Each of these are scalar multiples. Now, I also mentioned drawing linear combinations of vectors, and that means that I need two vectors. So there's my vector b, and let's get another vector and call that vector A. Um, so maybe I want a linear combination that looks like A plus 2 times B. Well, when we add vectors, we add them by placing one vector. And we say that we add them head to tail. So we're going to match up the tail of one vector to the head of the other vector. So if I think about finding the vector a plus 2b, I'm going to replicate my vector a. So it needs to have that length and direction. So I'm going to try down here. We're going to add that. So let's say that looks like it's about the same length and direction. And now to that vector A, I'm going to add two copies of B. So I'm going to add B, which goes, use my pen again for my length. So there's one copy of B and two copies of B. So there's my two B. When I add those two vectors, the result is the diagonal that stretches from the tail of my first vector to the head of my second vector. So that would be my resulting vector for A plus 2B. But what if we needed to subtract the vectors instead of adding them? Well, there are two ways that we can look at this. Um, so let's get a new linear combination, and let's say that I've got the vector b and a, and what I would like to sketch is, let's say, 3b minus the vector a. Well, there are two ways that we can look at this linear combination. The way that kind of works best for me is to actually rewrite this to think about that as saying that I want three copies of B, but instead of subtracting A, I'm going to think about adding the vector negative A. When I go to sketch this, since I've rewritten this in a form where I'm adding, I can go head to tail again. So I'm going to take my b vector, and I need it. I need three of them. So I need a length of three, keeping that same angle. So there's one, two, and three. So there's my vector three b. And to that, 
I'm going to add the vector negative a. Now the negative of, of a vector flips the vector to point in exactly the opposite direction. So it will keep the same angle and keep the same magnitude, but the head of the vector or the arrow will now be pointing the other way. So I'm going to take our vector a, sketch it down here, but in the opposite direction. And then I'm going to draw my final answer, the 3b plus negative a, starting at the head, sorry, the tail of my first vector, pointed to the head of the end over there. So this resulting vector would be 3b plus negative a, or 3b minus 